How you going? Just thought I'd make another video. Um, this is just some of the other tuning I do. So I've got a 79 series cruiser in for a tune. Excuse the noise from the fan. Um, this is the typical cruiser. Uh, safari snorkel head on a factory snorkel. Uh, French exhaust system. Um, and the guy tows it the whole time and reckons it's gutless, which they are. Um, he's put a throttle controller on it. Everyone thinks they make more power, they don't. Uh, so yeah, so before run, 106 kilowatts. Uh, typical boost, typical power graph where it's just lazy and linear. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll um, ID the, the ECU and put a file in it and go from there. Okay, so I'm just writing in a file. Um, these are still K-line, so, so they take a while to actually write the file in, not like the new CAN bus ones. Um, pretty basic mod, more fuel, more boost, uh, but safe fuel levels. So after it's flushed in, I'll, I'll give it a run and I'll show you before and after. I do have a fan for the front as well, so people will look at the video and go, oh, why didn't you put a fan in there? Fan is there, it's just, it's a way while I'm moving stuff, so fan goes back in front for the dyno run. And in the middle of summer, I generally chuck a fan on the top mount cooler as well. Okay, I also forgot to mention this car has already got a clutch fitted to it, so that's why it can hold the power or the extra torque that I'm going to put through it. Um, Generally, if it doesn't have a, a clutch upgrade, it'll, it'll sort of smoke it in third gear, no dramas. The clutch, that is, not the wheels. Okay, I've turned the fan off. Um, I've just put the tune in. I've done the next pull. So we've gone from 106 up to 146. Boosters at 19 PSI. AFRs are 18.5 to 19 across the board. This guy's gonna tow a three ton trailer daily. I'm not out to try and set the world on fire. Um, it's just a, it's a safe tune. It, it'll drive like they should drive with with more boost and more mid-range torque. Um, so yeah, uh, I did forget to mention too that um, before I tune it, I do some basic checks like air cleaner, uh, dip the oil and check the MAF to see if the MAF's clean. Cause if the MAF's dirty, that affects the tune in a big way. Cool. Second car for the day, uh, VESS 2010 uh, cam. Little baby cam, it's still a stock converter. Um, 
in for tune up because it won't change gears properly. It's an auto, so I've had to go through the engine tune and turn back on torque management because it had no torque reduction and play all the shift pressures and the oncoming and offgoing clutches. So, made gains. The tune was already done, so it wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, a couple of areas that could be touched up. Now comes the fun part, which is road testing it and making sure that it shifts gears.